It's Geek Time with Soldier Dude Gaming! Hello there my fellow comrades, it's Soldier Dude Gaming here and welcome back to yet another Geek Time episode. This time, we're going to be talking about one of the most unique and most American AA vehicles that I've seen throughout World War II. This is the M16 Mobile Gun Carriage. Also, something completely unrelated, I uh, have a new microphone as you can see. So, yeah. With that out of the way, let's start talking about the, what the M16 is and how it came to be in the U.S. military. So, the M16 half-track, designed by the White Motor Company in the U.S., was supposed to be a sort of self-propelled anti-air gun, and um, it's pretty darn effective. It's armed with 450 caliber or 12.7mm machine guns that can do absolutely devastating damage to most aircraft, and if you're completely unaware of what how much damage it can do, just go hop on War Thunder and go see for yourself. That stuff is terrifying. But anyway, we're getting off track. So the main role of the M16 was supposed to be a mobile anti-air vehicle or a multiple gun motor carriage. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called, if I remember correctly. And this was mainly used on infantry, in fact. Um, and for one, one main reason. I remember the soup. I opened the restaurant that was the rock. Y me llama el cocinero. Risita, ¿qué? Ve por la paellera. Venga, que a las dos de la tarde. Todo despeinado porque no me dio tiempo de nada ponerme la chancla y el bañador. Voy a la playa y había subido la marea. <risa> Eso. Eso. Había subido la marea y con su blue paella. So instead of shooting down planes like it's built and designed for, it was started using as sort of an infantry support vehicle for infantry. And this pretty much gave the nickname of the M16. And um, taking on the fact that this thing is armed with 450 caliber machine guns, like just 150 cal can tear a man in half. Four of them is just insult to injury. And that pretty much gave the M16 its nickname, the M16 Meat Chopper, for its effectiveness against infantry. And, uh, when I say effective, I mean, like, nuclear bomb effective. There's just no survivors. God dang it, where's our support? We're pinned down by the freaking Germans over here. Ugh, the man told us they're gonna be reinforcements coming in by the, by, by the time they get there. They're gonna be dead. God. Just keep it up, boys. Oh, no. Oh, God. Frog, what should we do? Wait. Hold on. Why do I hear boss music? Why do I hear boss music? Well, so, so much for my channel being kid-friendly. <laughs> anyway. So, the M16... Uh, chassis was actually based off the M3 half track, which was already being used for many, many other roles such as mortar carriers, troop transports, mobile AT guns, uh, uh, mobile radio stations, and so the vehicle, the M16, was also widely used uh, with not only the US but also its allies, including the US, Britain, Soviet Union, and also the Free French as part of the Lend Lease program. The M16 itself was used widely throughout the Second World War, as we just discussed, and it also served the U.S. Army during the Korean War. At least 3,550 M16s were made. Well, if you say made, because some of them were converted from older M3 half-tracks or M13 half-tracks, which were essentially M16s with, with only two machine guns instead of four. But... Um, to conclude with that, I think that's going to be it for this Geek Time video. So, if you guys did like this video, do comment down in the comments and say something good, I guess. And maybe just hit the like button and do, do subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss another video. It really does help out the channel. And uh, if you guys want, go ahead and comment down below on what you would like to see on Geek Time and like me talk about. So, um, with that done, that's it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.